Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alameen Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'da habita fillah Remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as we mentioned Is a great weapon And it is a great source of not just inspiration But it's a great source of success in this life as well as the year after To remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often and one of the benefits of making dua is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgives you. There's maghfirah in making dua. So by, uh, uh, I'm sorry, by making dua and also remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So by remembering Allah, making dhikr, just making dhikr, subhanallah, alhamdulillah, wallahu akbar, this right here is forgiveness for you. So anytime you remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you gain forgiveness from Him, uh, Azza wa Jal. Qala subhanahu wa ta'ala fi kitabi al-kareem, wa dhakirin Allah kathira, wa dhakirat, adda Allah allahu maghfiratan wa ajrin azima. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, fi kitabi al-kareem, wa dhakirin Allah kathira, wa dhakirat. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and those males who remember Allah kathira, a lot, often, with and, and women, those women believers, the men in the believing men and believing women who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kathira. So it's not just that they're from Ahl Iman, but they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kathira. So Allah called them a dhakirin with and what is Allah prepared for them? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Addallahu lahum maghfiratan wa ajran azima. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared for them forgiveness and, re- and, and and a great reward. So if you want great a great reward in this life as well as the hereafter, you want forgiveness from Allah azza wa jal, then remember him often. Be of the dhakirin wa dhakirat. Qala ibn Salah rahimahullah ta'ala he said, "Ida wadib ala azkar al al ma'thura al muthbita sabah wa masain fi al awqat wa ahwal muhtalifa laylan wa naharan kan min adhakirin Allah kathira wa dhakirat." A beautiful statement by Imam Ibn Salah, rahimahullah taala. He said, "Those." who make that their habit, their practice, to remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala with those dhikrs, those ways of of remembering Allah that are affirmed, affirmed where? Affirmed in the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Sabahin wa masain, in the morning and in the night. And in in their different uh, states, and in their different situations during the night and the day, then they are those who are the the ones who remember Allah, from the males and the females, who remember Allah, kathira, a lot. So the one, under all circumstances, remembers Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, supplicates to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, and especially this emphasizes, as the Salaf did, that to make dhikr as the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam made dhikr. The Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam made dhikr which is specifically mentioned in the sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So those kinds of adhkar that are mentioned make a person from the dhakirin wa dhakirat kathira. Those people who remember Allah often. And what in ahwal that means they remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in different circumstances and at different times. Who does not want to be successful? Because what did Allah say about them? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has prepared for them forgiveness. Wa ajran. Azima and 
a great or immense reward. So we can't even begin to fathom. We only know what's mentioned in the authentic sunnah of the message of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And what's mentioned fi, fi kitabillah with regard to the reward that you receive by being of the dhakirina wa dhakirat. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us to be from amongst them and those people who remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala often. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.